on basically it is thursday june 29th and um yesterday i forgot to charge my camera so i couldn't vlog a lot of the stuff that i did with my friend which i've been doing a horrible job of since he's been here but it is let's see oh it's 6 35 in the morning and i'm going to um cook some breakfast and then head out to work and i've got a long day of work today i've got a full day shift but i'm gonna see if i can um do something in the evening because like i said I've, I've i've been hanging out with my friend and like just showing him the city and whatnot and i really haven't been vlogging it which is i don't even know why though like i had every intention to do it and one thing or another always pops up either i forgot my camera the battery was dead yesterday anyways it's just been one of those weeks i think it's the heat that got to my brain so <laughs> So yeah, I will see you in a bit. Boom. <laughs> it's going to be 6 o'clock. So I've already went to work, done the whole thing, came back. Um, we're going to go to an event um, for an organization where I live that um, it's like it's activism. It's mostly like LGBTQ plus immigration, people of color, so on and so forth. Um, but I just wanted to... <laughs> like my, my my therapy you guys know you guys are my therapy but i wanted to talk about something without really talking about it but i still kind of just really want to get it off my chest because i'm not in the best mood i'm really not um but i went to work today and got some news got some news that just really put me in a bind on just a lot of things and it's made me rethink and as it is I rethink about like my future and my career and all that and um, I'm not gonna quite say exactly what's going on because a nothing's um, set in stone it was just a conversation that was had and um, it just it's it's just really put me in a ugh, kind of mood and sometimes, you know, talking to the camera really genuinely helps me get it out. And the reason I'm whispering is because I have my friend who I actually elaborated more. But um, he's in the living room and I'm just like want to get it out before I go out because I don't want to have like a stank face. But I don't even feel like getting ready because it's just really brought a little bit of stress into my life. And I'm trying really hard like not to think about it. And I'm usually pretty decent at just kind of ro rolling with life at this point and everything that I've been through and just in general, like good decisions, bad decisions, life decisions, anyways. But it really kind of put me in a mood and I just got to get it off my chest and just kind of have a real talk. Um, I know I'm, I'm an animated person, an overall happy person, but life just sucks sometimes. <laughs> Um, and I'm trying to see the positive in a lot of it because I, I'm usually, like I said, pretty good at that. But, you know, sometimes I just can't. And I think this is one of those times and I just told myself I'm not going to be able to be happy the rest of the evening if I don't talk about it to my people, to my own biscuits. Um, anyways, yeah, I just wanted to just let you all know kind of where I'm standing. I just, I don't want to just vlog everything nice happening in my life even though um like i said i try to be a very positive person so a lot of it is genuinely true and even when things are down i'm usually like you know what be positive and i know that i'll probably be there tomorrow morning or even later tonight um but in this very moment i'm feeling very down <laughs> and i'm trying to get out of that and i'm hoping that by talking to you all and getting some encouragement that that will go away but like i'm even you guys know if you've been watching my videos you know that i get emotional when i talk and it's kind of like my coping mechanism and i embrace it and i it does help when i cry it out and i talk about it and i'm just like oh god that felt so much better so i felt like i needed to do that at this moment so that i can get better and I know that ultimately the reason too I wanted to do it is because my hands getting tired. Um, you know, I guess just to share that and maybe hopefully one of you can relate or I can learn something from you and how you cope when you're feeling down in the moment. Um, but I just, I know that sometimes you can't control what happens in your life, right? You do the very best 
to make sure that you take steps towards getting there and I know that it's probably just a small detour and I understand that but it's it's I'm human and it's hard to get kind of like punched in the stomach with news that you get and you're just like really and that's where I'm at so yeah this is a real talk kind of video I really just like wanted to come home and you know my friends like oh it's work and I'm like honestly it sucked it sucked it sucked because I had to go through an eight-hour work shift with news that I got and I couldn't let it out I couldn't let it out because you know even with a friend it's not like I had all day to talk about it with a friend like work's got to get done so I just got to do work but now I'm home in my little happiness and um, talking to you all about it and I hope to feel better but just wanted to share that um, that moment um, because I want to be as real as possible um, and most importantly for me because this is my form of quick therapy although I should probably call my real therapist and check in and <laughs> make sure everything's okay and I can handle what's gonna happen next but um, nonetheless you guys are always awesome and have great words of encouragement and I always feel so much better when I get to communicate with you all so yeah anyways if you're going through something like this just know that you're not alone and that it's okay if you feel like you can't conquer the world even if you traditionally can and are very optimistic because I'm the same way and sometimes I just don't feel that way and today's one of those days so that's where I'm at so yeah hopefully I'll feel better by the end and um, if I don't at least I'll get to show you guys what um, I'm gonna go see it's like some art pride trends I forget God, I should have looked at the, up the um, flyer but I will look it up record it and then film the event uh, for you so yeah Hey, so I come out of the room and this is what I find. I and the look, the pro I, I just find it funny because I don't flip my tortillas with I want fudge. fudge. Oh my I cannot. You cannot be in my video. You no, that's it. I'm not filming you anymore. Because it's just not possible. Anyways, I put my eyebrows on. I used the wrong color though, can you tell? Is it obvious? I used the espresso one and I was way too lazy after I did all that work to change it. Doesn't look horrible? No. Like a huge, cause it's like really brown. The good thing is my hair isn't dyed. Like um, I usually do that, the like sharp, like dark, dark jet black. And because I need a retouch, I think that's what's helping it because I can notice the difference. Brown and black. I don't like it. I don't like it. So what are you going to do? Just eat a tur hot tortilla? I'm going to put some eggs in it too.
It's my first time here, but my uncle Kevin brought me and... <laughs> a smile that I would always look happiest. This moment truly was bittersweet. A night wedding on the beach was truly the loveliest. Everything in the buffet was simply a treat. I love them and their voice was gentle like... What others think of me shall remain none of my business. Cause my love for you will kill. My love for you will pull the strings. Society can keep the talking snake alive as long as they want to play blind. For what they can't see, we believe. For the, what they deny, we feel. In this world set out by black and white, we'll free our true colors, we'll break binaries. Like Venus and Mars, like the beauty and the beast. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to follow me on all my social media at I am Lolo, and don't forget to subscribe.